What's up guys, Burnout Box episode 46, my computer screen tells me. Um, obviously, I'm Donnie, you know me. This is not Rebecca. I'm Joey, I'm uh, filling in for Rebecca today. Uh, she's in, well she's probably on a flight, she's probably stateside now, but she was coming back from Ireland, so. So what do you do at VMP? Um, Tell them all about it. I am hang out in the sales and support office, um, I do a little product development, and I handle most of the business to business dealer accounts. That's fun. Yep. What do I do at VMP? Um, you hang out on Burnout Box and you do some mechanic stuff outside. No, I was hoping your answer would be a lot funnier. Yeah, no, I'm not a uh, funny guy. I drive the Zamboni. Mm. I did see that on I Instagram. Drive Zambonis. Do we have a video of that? We can, uh, you don't have. <sighs> You, you don't have a video, is it? I don't think it's on the Instagram page, it's on our Instagram story. It was a story, so it's probably gone. I have the video of the, the Zamboni. Do you want, I want the video of the yeah, Zamboni. Yeah, send it, send I'll it send over. it to you guys. I got a Zamboni, guys, just so you know. Hold, please. You can talk about something. Find something to talk about. Here okay. you go, talk about that. All right, um, so we got new products come in today. Um, Donnie's truck is on a trackpad for your mouse. Um, so if so, you wanna make your mouse slower, Go ahead and get one of these new mouse pads. Oh yeah, um, Donnie finally made it into the VMP Hall of Fame and then we have Justin's GT500 on the other side um, racing and as you can imagine, Donnie got 60 foot treed and lost by at least oh, five cars. Ouch. So. I'll take that. Yeah. If I only lose by five cars to a GT500 and with my a 5,000 pound truck on 36s yeah. to a, a Shelby with a Gen 3, if I could lose by only five car lengths, done. Yeah, miniature win, right I'll, down. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. But um, yeah, new mouse pad has a Gen 3 logo. I don't really know what he said about it because I was kind of on my phone, so I'm going to hit it all again. Obviously, see what's on there. Uh, make sure you come by VMP Boost anywhere you see us. We'll be carrying with these at the next, sorry. We'll be carrying these with us at the next couple shows, events, all that we go to. Uh, of course, we got them here if you swing by for a tour or if you have having work done for your car. So make sure to ask about them. We'll get you one. Um, all of my raging comments, on. I have JP saying hello to me. What's up, JP? Your car looks good with the uh, the, the, the drag wheels on them, on it. Saw it on the Facebook. 
we have a number of people over here on YouTube chatting away. Your girlfriend's laughing at your pink yeti. I'm laughing at your pink yeti too. Yeah, You're the, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. drinking beer out of a pink yeti, and I'm drinking Mike's lemonade out of a red one. I'm like, just here to fill in for Rebecca, so I figured if I was gonna do it, I was gonna go whole hog, pink yeti, kind of a V-neck, a little bit we on can, the tighter. Yeah, we can. Get yeah. Down so there, yeah. if we're gonna do it, let's do it whole hog. We don't do anything half-ass. Mac McDonald wants to know who'd win in an arm wrestling contest. We can make that happen. Yeah, that'll be something we film for the Instagram story or something. All right. So, I don't so, want to get all sweaty on Mac, TV like we were watching Cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, name the movie reference. We, um, we have a bunch of stuff over here in live chat. Right. Just people saying hi and chiming in. You got Bubba Blue, who's in Texas. Mad Max. Um, Slab Shack. Slab Shack and now He's always here. Rouse 727 in New Jersey. Uh, 67 Fairlane Coyote, Detroit. Ooh, that'd be a fun swap. Steve Hall, um, Jersey. Joshua has a question. He I says, have an um, Hey, VMP, love the show. Have a 1450 with a Gen 2R on a Ford Racing Twin 65. I ordered the Twin 67. Do I need a new tune for the Switch or can the I use the same tune? Um, the car will run, the car will drive. However, it's always anytime you make a mod. Take a data log, send it in. Yep. Uh, obviously, you are putting a little bit more air in there. You can get a little more fuel to get a little extra power out of it, and just to make sure you're not going, you're not going to be leaned from from that big of a switch. You're not lean detrimental, but obviously, you're changing up airflow, so we need to look at fueling. Yep. Anytime yeah. you change anything, make sure you have a tuner look it over. Whether it's us, um, Joe, Mike, Michelle, or anybody else, um, just send us a data log, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll let you know if if changes need to be made, and if no okay. changes need to be made, then uh, free horsepower. Uh, Yeti Army says, what's up, Joey? What's up, wow, they're guys? Only, they're only saying hi to you. They're like, screw him. He's got an Arctic. DMX Mike says, North Carolina. Um, Cal Calendus Morgan. Didn't DMX from... comment before and I said that his Mustang had to have a sticker on it that said X going to give it to you? Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool. DMX, that... is that sticker on there yet? I don't know if you actually said that. I'm, I said it Did on the show. Did you say on the show? I said it on the show, yeah. He yeah, was talking about his car, and I was like, please tell me you have a sticker that says X going to give it to you. So, Calandus Morgan is from Dubai. That's wow. that's Calandus Morgan. That's the car you're working on outside. That's the today. car I'm working on, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, we have John from West Texas. Texas um, now. Bubba Blue says, I think we need to see some ID for those alcoholic beverages, sirs. I, I can assure you. yesterday. Yeah, I can assure ah, you I'm plenty over 21. Guess what? Slab Shack wants to know, I like those shirts. Are they on the site? Ooh, they are not on the site yet, but they are coming. Um, me, Paul, and a couple of the other guys will should have them on, hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow. But if not, it be, should be early next week. I like the shirt, however, it's way too soft and I've already accepted that my girlfriend's gonna take it from me and it is no longer gonna be my shirt after it comes off at her house. Yep. Marcus says, hello, I always turn in and love both Tuning Tuesday and Burnout Box. Thanks, Marcus. Um, Black Stings from Kansas City. Oh, and uh, DMX Mike says, not yet. Well, hurry up. We're waiting. I need to see pictures. All right, Mac, arm wrestling contest, we'll do it tomorrow. Make sure you guys follow our Instagram page. Uh, it is VMP Performance. Joey and I will have a arm wrestling contest right here, high noon. Put it on the Instagram story. Joey's going to win that one. No, he's not. Um, Topper says, how many horsepower will I expect with a monoblade Cobra Jet over a twin 67 millimeter thro um, VMP throttle body on a 13 GT500? Need to know a little more details, but it depends. Um... The monoblade, so long as you have a good tuner, you shouldn't have any drivability issues, but it has been known in the past that monoblades kind of have like an on-off switch feel. Um, but I'd need to know pulley size, how much booze, what fuel, and stuff like that to tell you kind of an estimate of horsepower. John wants to know, do y'all sell a supercharger for a 13 F-150 uh, Coyote motor? Yeah, oh, that's a great question, isn't it, Donnie? It is. I have one on my truck. Um, makes it fun. I haven't put it on the dyno yet. Which one do you have on the truck? I have Gen 2R. Okay. What yeah. other options do we have? Um, Gen 2R, we can get you a Gen 3 kit. Uh, we can option it up any way you want with our, our Twin 60 that comes with the kits. Uh, we can upgrade you to the Twin 67. If you're going Gen 3, you'd either have Twin 67 or uh, the Monoblade 160. Um, and then heat exchanger, of course, you can get the single pass or the triple pass with fans. And yeah, it's all... All designed in-house. That's the kit that's on my truck that I drive every day back and forth to work, beating the shit out of it the whole way. 
-hmm. Roush 727 says, is there a difference between VMP blower and the Roush blower, or is it just in a tune? Yes, there are big differences, especially at, well, the Gen 1 and the Roush blow, our VMP is Gen 1 and the Roush blower are pretty similar. Um, everything from Gen 2 on on, um, you got a lot of benefits from some of the casing stuff. Um, the rotor packs are the same, but the casing is more ported. The Gen 2R had an integrated elbow um, that opened it up quite a bit more. And then the Gen 3 obviously is a 2.65, um, also with a more new and improved uh, casing for more airflow. So yes, definitely differences between the Roush and the VMP um, on top of your tuning. So your tuning, you're going to get a lot better horsepower and drivability with the VMP tune over the Roush tune. Uh, right. Mad Max says, thanks Joe for resuming my Gen 3 order. Peace. All right. I'm getting up. behind. Oh, Mad Max. I gotcha. Um, my girlfriend says I'll win the arm wrestling contest, but I'm sure yours will say the same thing. So. We'll just figure that out at 12. I think our girls are going to arm wrestle right after. Whoa. <laughs> I'll put money on that one. The guy? Uh, okay. I will put Hold money on, on that one. I work out with my girl almost every other day. I'll put money on that one. Let's get let's get crazy, okay? Let's do like a, like a brawl. Like let's put them in a ring and find out who wins. Okay. I got money on that too. I got whatever amount of money you want. I'll double it. We'll go uneven. We'll go crazy odds. If you win... I'll pay you 200 if your girl wins, you only have to pay me, or the other way around. I'll do, I'll we're, do we're, odd we're, money there. Kristen says she's down. Oh, oh you're Kristen, in so course. much trouble, Kristen, I promise. My, my girlfriend is six foot three, 175 pounds, and runs 40 mile races in a period of eight hours. I got money on that one. That's cool, but my girlfriend's an MMA fighter, so I just set you up. You're, you're well, in a lot fine. of trouble. I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. Precious I'm not worried about she's it. Down. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that. Next week to watch our girlfriends beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's well, dad says hi. This burnout box is going great. Whose dad says hi? Rebecca. Rebecca. What's up, Ray? Oh, hello. Uh, Max says who'd win in a drag race between the two of us. Um, you got me on. It. Well, if I get my crotch rocket out, I'll I beat would your car. No, no, we're going car for daily car, for daily. Daily for daily, you got me. My yeah. truck's on 36s. And then he did race me in a foot race to the 1320. He got me by a fender. But I will say, I was pulling on him. I was pulling on him. And then, <laughs> so we're racing. And Joey, like, I, I sprinted a little and I got out ahead of him. And we're, we're like 100 foot from the finish. And he does, like, the total Dom voice from Fast and the Furious. Too soon, Junior, when they raced the first time and Paul, hit the, Paul Walker hit the spray too early. And I literally laughed so hard and lost my breath, he passed me. Like, and there was no catching up. It screwed me. Went right if, around him. If there wasn't the laughing involved, I think I maybe had a chance. But we'll have to figure it out next year at Mod Nationals. I'll yeah. be ready, though. All right. Matt Clark, have you guys had any math issues with Steeda new closed cold air intake? Um, I have not heard of any or seen any. Have you? No, Otherwise, use your them. stock MAF. I don't know what car. I'm, assu I'm assuming he's talking about That's a Coyote car, yeah. but use the stock MAF sensor. You'll be all right. Apparently, Kristen and Precious are probably going to have a cookie eating contest at the same time. So, <laughs> All right, they got to do that before. <laughs> that way, then we can watch them throw up as they fight. <laughs> okay. Um, Murdoch, I'll see you next week. I saw your comment a little earlier. Uh, Jason, when are we going to Coyote Swap Michelle's Focus? I don't know. Whenever she decides she wants to do more than 110 miles an hour. Me and Steve sent her a link to a Coyote Swap Focus the That's other day. Cool. Kelsey Wade, will I be at Texas 2K? I don't know. I was last year. Uh, I sure hope to go again. It was a hell of a race. It was sweet. So I'd like to go. Um, Matt says he wants one of our shirts. He can walk outside and grab one. I don't feel the comment any further on that. Tim. My cleaning machine does not have a TVS supercharger yet. yet. It is not two-wheel drive. It is one-wheel drive, unfortunately. Joey, um, we do have a video. shoes on head. We do have a video of my cleaning machine for the rest of you. I need my TV. I can't see what they're seeing. Ah, yes, my Zamboni. I begged for it for like, I, don't, I didn't beg for it that long, honestly. I begged for it for a little bit, and then I was like, but Justin, think of how clean the shop floor will be if I can just run a little machine around every 30 seconds. And he's like, oh, okay, the shop's going to get clean? Screw it. Let's just order it. It was that easy? It was that easy. Once, once, once I put it in terms of I don't feel like, I changed it from I don't feel like mopping to think of how clean the floor will be when I can do it all the time. Yeah. Then magically it got ordered. Scott okay. Hasty checking in. What's up, Scott Hasty? Um... <laughs> They're arguing about cookie eating. This is great. Oh, man. I can eat 20 cookies in three Tim minutes. Tim says he'd watch this. 
Um, Steve has the part numbers for the Coyote Slop. Yeah, Kristen's saying let's have a cookie eating contest Top too. This is going to be awesome. Topper, who asked earlier about how much horsepower will I expect um, with a Monoblade uh, Cobra Jet over a Twin 67, came back. He's got a 2.4 pulley, 123 cat delete, and soon to throw the mufflers in the garbage. 93 tune. Um, with all the boost. Oh, don't throw those GT500 mufflers in the garbage. First thing. I, I, around, I know that's not your question. He's around 17 to 18 PSI, averaging what? Yep. That's about what that is. He'll, that he'll pick up 15 horsepower if he's lucky. Um, it's not a giant. And he'll, he said he's coming from a 65 of... to a monoblade. The Ford Racing 65? 67, VMP 67. Oh, the 67? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be lucky if he picks up 15, um, but two things that never go hand in hand is 93 and all the boost. Yeah. You can't have, you can't have both. Yep. And another thing is drivability and monoblades. Yep. Granted, there, there's, there's bigger bigger monoblades will have worse drivability. That That's not going that bad. He said Cobra Jet, right? Yeah, Cobra Jet. Yeah, Cobra Jet isn't, isn't that bad, but still, monoblade, it isn't going to be able to first gear cruise around the church parking lot anymore yeah Let's make sure you have a good tuner for something like that if we're not tuning the car mad max is asking one of the gen threes uh, going to be shipping i believe we're two weeks out on those right now uh, might have to get with the shipping department to be sure on that i just put gen threes on i don't know these answers it's above my pay grade all right um uh max says for a real race car building a 5.0 which 5.0 is best a coyote the Texan Stroker 5.0 or small block 8.2 uh, eight, deck 5.0. An 8.2 eight, an eight deck. Um, uh, what's your that's answer? That's a Mexican block, right? The 8.2 deck? What's your answer? My answer? Mm -hmm. Well, for real race car building, the Coyote has the best heads. For for the money, the I almost think if we're already starting with a Texan with a, a Stroker, and we're going the stock Coyote versus already stroke Texid. I'm going with my my four six that I, I loved out of my Lincoln. So you're going you're going Texid with a five zero stroker. Yeah, as long like as it's just like heads. we're dropping a motor in the way it is. Like you're talking like C heads. I guess yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I would hope so. If we're if we're just doing stock, if we're just NA dropping in motors, if it's like we got all the budget in the world, of course we're going with the Coyote. I mean, if we got all the budget in the world, I might, I might do the eight two deck, but I'm probably uh, unfavorable there. Um, Hogzilla says I'm worried that my eighteen has the typewriter tick. Any suggestions on what it could be or how to fix it? Send it back to Ford. Yep. Send it back. You got a warranty for a reason. <laughs> Tim, how much of those machines? Uh, I don't know. I do know that. Um, I, I kind of showed him some cheaper ones, and he said, well, we, we've got a big facility, a lot of floor. Don't waste money on getting one that isn't going to do the job. <laughs> Fair so enough. we got a good one. Scott Hasty said, what's up to us? JP has money on my girl winning, and we need to race the truck and my car next year at Mon Nats. JP, I will also match that bet. We can do this all night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're either going to be a really rich man or really broke come Christmas time. Yeah. Um, Kelsey, did we check out the DDR Concepts F-150s by Daddy Dave? I did not see those. I also did not see them. We didn't get a whole lot of time out of the booth as much as we anticipated, but um, I definitely didn't see that one there. Jared says he likes your hat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. I still have, so somebody stuck a, a, a slow mock racing sticker on the back of my truck right above the flex field thing, and I, I haven't taken it off. So I'm also supporting yeah, Slow Mark Racing, um, they just started an uh, e-commerce thing for uh, mod motors, four valves specific, uh, they can get you two valves up too, and coyotes, but um, it's a buddy of mine and he just, uh, he's been supporting me for a little bit, so I figured I could uh, wear some of his swag, they got a, and I got a Mach 1, so Slow Mark Racing is kind of my motto nowadays. JP says he's down Slap for your bet. Says, I'll run you, JP. I, I have to lower my truck and put it on good tires, but I'll run you. Slapjack says, we talked about the Ford sedans dying, but Lincoln just dropped a picture of, a su of suicide doors, and they said stay tuned. What? Chris, I have not heard about up. this, but yes, Chris, I would also like to see this. I want to know, because I thought they were coming out on the... Suicide doors would be sweet. I, I, thought, I thought we were getting them on the new Continental. Well, and then we didn't, so I, I was I was slightly upset. S stay tuned, leave so much. No, that means they're coming out with them. That's cool. 
All right. Kelsey what? said he sent me a link. It says I open it. Dude, my Facebook Messenger is so weird. I have like notifications off and it's very unhappy about that. That's how you get a virus. Really? When someone sends you a link no, and no, you no. open Kelsey, it. Kelsey, Kelsey's good. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I have notifications off and it like freaks out on me. Every time I open Facebook Messenger, it's like, did you know your notifications are turned off? And it spasses mm, out. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. Um, Ryan wants to know what all do I need to run E85 on my naturally aspirated 11. Uh, if it's stock manifold, you don't need anything, just a tune. Um, if it's got like an 18 manifold or Cobra Jet or Boss or anything like that, um, recommend grabbing a set of LU 47 injectors. Do not grab the Chinese 47 injectors you find on eBay. Make sure you get a, do your, do your tuner a favor and get a set of four racing 47 injectors, 47 pound injectors. And David Murdoch on Facebook is asking, when are we having a car show at VMP? David, we are looking at some options on hosting a couple of things here next year, but they're still very, very much in the planning stages. Yeah, no ETA of yet, but uh, we want to host like a cars and coffee here and then have some Mustang specific meets and uh, could be pretty cool. We're talking about possibly a diner. The problem is we don't have a things. sidewalk out front for people to watch them do burnouts as they leave. Correct. Not yet. Give it time. Okay. Okay. Give it time. Uh, I hear just. I hear show. Justin's got some stuff in the works. Ah, uh, so they just released door handles. That's it. No, this is a picture from the 1960s. I was gonna say uh, that looks like a 60 to 70 door handle. And is it Throwback Thursday? Dot dot dot. Or is it? Ooh. Okay. Nice. So those of nice you that couldn't way. hear, Chris. Uh, they put a 60s Continental door handles that are right next to each other naturally uh, and put, is this a, it's a throwback Thursday or is it question mark? So it sounds like hopefully the Continental is going to get suicide doors because I believe it should have to begin with. Mm -hmm. They already have the Lincoln MKZ, which was their top of the line, very, very nice four door sedan. So coming out with a Continental, while it is a little bit bigger, a little bit more headroom for the people in back, they already had a super nice four door. The Continental needed to be a little different, other than just being a little bit bigger. So I, I think suicide doors would give it its spot in the Lincoln line. Does anything have suicide doors anymore? I don't think so. I don't even think Nothing. Lambos uh, Rolls have Rolls-Royce? Oh, yeah, Rolls like the Phantoms? Yeah, Rolls-Royce. Oscar has one suicide door. Ooh, it does. It does. Velocitor. Why yeah. are we even talking about a Velocitor? And then I guess the F-150s that have from like here the on doors. out, From here on out... I do have suicide doors. Yeah, I was just truck. saying that. The trucks. Yeah, but trucks from here have... on out, I decree we are not talking about velocitors on this show ever again. <laughs> that's like, a, they that's a, a good rule. They, they have a place, and it belongs like in urban streets driven by 18-year-old kids. You know what not I here. did like about the velocitors when they first came back out, or when they first came out? Why are they we talking about them? The I literally matte, just said we're done. The matte paint. The, like the matte gray. I like that. And now, like, I think Challengers have a matte color paint, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's still glossy, but it's flat. Oh, like a uh, satin or something? It's still, it's still a regular paint. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, that's nice. I like that. But yes, no more Veloster stuff. That was the yeah. last bit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Kelsey said they are Pro Charge F one fifties and Mustangs claiming seven fifty seven hundred fifty horsepower F one fifties with the warranty. Lowered on Velgen wheels. Never heard of Velgen wheels. Figure so if it comes with a warranty, that would lead me to believe that it came out of like the Ford booth. And Ford did have a pretty sweet F-150. I don't know if you caught that. I, I did, actually. In fact, we can roll into Joey and I before the show. We're talking about our favorite things on PRI. And they said, all right, screw it. Send us some pictures of your favorite things. So, Chris, you want to pull up that picture of the truck I like? This, I believe, was Kurt Busch's truck. Um, built for Kurt Busch, whatever. Had a twin turbo kit on it. Had a wide body kit. I absolutely loved it until I walked up and saw the interior. Did you see the interior? I didn't check the interior. It I was too like busy looking at the turbo crocodile kit. skin interior. Oh, yes. Okay, so I uh, did see that, and it was not super attractive, but it wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't a deal breaker. It wasn't fugly, but like, I see lowered race truck, street truck. Yeah. That, that interior didn't go with it. If I could have a not quite so low, I'm guessing it's on bags, but I, if I could have a lowered F-150. No, it's really not stupid low. It's got a nasty front splitter. You take that front splitter I don't off, think the rest of the truck I don't is. think that's streetable, which leads me to believe it would be on bags, or it's just just for this show, yeah. and then that splitter comes off. But if I could have a lower truck with a twin turbo kit, I'd be pretty happy, because um, that was an 18 F-150, so unfortunately VMP doesn't have anything yet. But stay tuned. I hear uh, VMP has something in the work for about six months out from uh, 18 F-150s and Mustangs having a, a new blower kit. Heck yeah. We'll leave it there. Um, people are waiting. Topper says they have the 
show based Lincoln SUV wagon thing, MKT. The that MKT? They've had that for years. Almost runs as well as the show Mod for Mod. And then Ryan says, are you going to be running a stall converter on Chucky? Mm. Um, I'm not telling you yes or no, but I am telling you to stay tuned to uh, Chucky episodes. Our next Chucky episode will drop next week on the 19th. So if you do decide to get a converter, who are you going with? FTI. Okay. They're right down the street. They build quality products. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They, they, they work closely with us. They've, they've done plenty of work for Rebecca's race car. Yep. Um, done good stuff. They've helped me out with a couple of my stuff for the mock. We'll, we'll call FTI and see what they can do when we yeah. get that point. Circle D's helped me out as well. But yeah, FTI makes a good quality product and it helps that they're right around the corner. All right. So, PRI. Let's roll into my Lambo. I like the Lambo. It was a twin turbo Lambo. It looked like an underground racing style twin turbo kit, but it didn't have any underground racing stickers on it or anything. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It had Mr. Chrome paint, which uh, of course it's not actual Ford Mr. Chrome, but it had that deep purple blue green in it. And my favorite part about it is one of the employees here and me <sighs> saying this, everyone watching, please understand this is an employee that purely pushes papers. We like him and all, but all he does is push papers. He doesn't have his hands on your cars or answer any phones and talk to you. Like, don't worry, okay? He pushes papers. But he sees the twin turbo Lambo, and he's like, man, look at that car. It's got two cold air intakes. That's weird, huh? I don't think we need to put a name on that. Woo! Man, I about died. I literally about died. It was amazing. For what it's worth... He's not wrong. He's your... He's your best friend, and no, you shouldn't, easy you, shouldn't put, you shouldn't put him on blast like that. No, I put everyone on blast. It's okay. Okay. This show is partly about putting Donnie on blast. Yeah, hundred percent. That was part of the script. If I wanted to come in and fill in for Rebecca, I had to. I had to throw a couple jabs at Donnie. Um, Murdoch, do we have plenty of '69 twin throttle wise in case you need one Tuesday to hit the 800 wheel horsepower mark? Yes, I, I do. I have 15 more in stock at the moment. Okay, so you're good, Murdoch. I'll be ready with the tools. Um, all right, back to SEMA cars. What else do I like? Ooh, let's talk about tools because I'm talking about being ready with the tools. Did okay. you see the Lincoln welder cart? I that, did not see the welder oh, cart. Well, tune your eyes over to Chris's screen over there. They had a, oh, he's, he's blowing it up and stuff. Um, they had a welder cart that literally had long travel, long arm, four link coilover suspension. Dang. It was a cart, maybe like this wide, this long, this wide, but it had four link going down to like 20 inch wheels with coilovers. And that was my favorite tool at the show, which most of you maybe don't know. We've talked about PRI some, definitely last week we talked a little bit about what the show's about, but. It's industry specific, but it's it's not just racing, it's anything that has to do with racing. So some people with cleaning products are there, and then a lot of people with tools and stuff like that, lifts, machine and machinery, like to, to bore cylinders, stuff like that. Everything's there, like that type of stuff. But yeah, do you see that thing? Yeah. That thing was freaking baller. It looks like it can uh, hit a mud hole and get it get itself. Put it out. behind my four-wheeler and take it out and then go fix shit. Ugh. Alright, let's read comments and then we'll go back to Stuff I liked. Dorian Johnson checking What's in with up, the Whipple, Whipple truck. So we were going to have a debate. Okay. We're gonna have and a the debate. debate was going to be how to properly say. Some names. Some names. Yep. Okay. So you go ahead with the first one. Mm. Is it Cooks or Cooks headers? We want to see the comments. We want to know what you have to say. So Cooks if, or Cooks? If you're saying it's Cooks. Spell it with three O's. If you're saying it's Cooks, spell it with a C, because clearly both of those are improper spellings from their name, but they show which one you mean. If you think it's Cooks, three O's. If you think it's Cooks, with a C. Let us know what you think. What's up, Josh Hubble? All right. I, I, you say, do. I say Cooks. I say Cooks with a C. I've always thought it was Cooks, but Justin no, no, loves no, no. to say. Justin loves to say Cooks. And as he's my boss, I just kind of go along with it, but it hurts me deep down inside Ugh. to say Kenneth, cooks. Kenneth says cooks. Cooks. Okay. Cooks. There's one for cooks. Uh, Shelby Canada West says cooks. Matt G says cooks. David Murdoch coming back with the C. Cooks. Oh, Joe, uh -oh. Says, Joe cooks. says cooks. 
He says kooks. Okay, Joe Dish. We got a kooks. Wow, I wouldn't <laughs> have thought that. And Slapshack says the company says cooks in their video. They okay. Well, that's. I mean, that pretty much settles it. I but, agree. Yeah, we're gonna have to change Justin's uh, vernacular a little bit. We're gonna okay, have to get so him the next yeah, one. Straighten up a little bit. The next one. Okay, Go the next it, one. Or it's, Joey or is I don't it care. Ken Bell or Kenny Bell? Yes. I would love for Ken to jump in and correct us like once and for all oh and just gosh. let everybody know because I've heard a couple other. Oh, yes. My girl, I'm sorry. My girlfriend said cooks the right way. Okay. This is why I love you. <laughs> I would. You. I would love to know what Ken calls it so that we can know for sure once and done. Ah! My screen did funky things. So is it. Uh, okay. Ken, so K E N Bell, or is it Kenny, K E N N E? Or K E N N Y. Right, so how are we, how are we gonna have so them spell Rupert, it? In K spell out. it either K E N or Ken E N N I E. So we know if you mean Kenny. How about K E N N Y? Root beer, yeah, Root Bear just came back and there says always Kenny. K E N N Y. Kenny. Okay, so and there you go. If you think it's Ken Bell, then it's K E N like Ke Barbie doll and Ken. Or if it's a uh, Kenny, it's K E N N Y. And then Kenneth says always. Chris is always smiling her because I jumped to instantly a Barbie reference. <laughs> So Kenneth said, uh, always heard Kenny too. So I have two for Kenny. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that we'll get. Uh, I've always thought Kenny Bell. Yeah, I've always Topper been Kenny says, Bell. says just call it KB and end it. Okay, mm -hmm. well, whatever. Oh, there's, yeah. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's, yeah, everybody's, everybody's Kenny, Kenny Bell. Kenny. But the, now who, who, who had that in question? Because nobody had it in question, I think, here, except for one person. He's uh, no, Cody. Uh, Cody. Yeah. Cody. Cody thought, and I don't. He's okay. I have I have heard people in passing call it Ken Bell. Have you? I have. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the last one? Last, the last one. one. The last one is a car menu. Is a car. Is it Porsche or Porsche? So I feel like Donnie has some authority on this one. I did work on a Porsche IMSA race team. Okay. And notice how I just said it. Okay. Porsche. So it's Porsche, correct? IMSA race team. Okay. It's Porsche. So the E is not silent. It is not silent. Okay. I, I, I know like lead software calibrators from Porsche. It's Porsche. Okay. So that I don't think... Me. Yeah. I think lazy people say Porsche. People that can't afford Porsches say Porsche. Yeah, you're probably right. They say, look at that Porsche. I call people it a Porsche and a Porsche I can assure you that I, I have a Porsche. One. I can assure you I, I cannot afford honest. one and I call it Porsche. I say Porsche. Yeah. I say Porsche. Are we bad people for that? No. Okay. You're just poor. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm ruthless. I'm sorry. It's Porsche. Thank you. JP, you I like... Authority on that, so you have, a couple <laughs> Porsche, you have a couple Porsches over here. You have Topper, that's Porsche. You have M Mr. Applesauce. Mr. Applesauce. I can dig it. it yeah, Mr. Applesauce 96 says Porsche. Uh, it better be cinnamon and applesauce. Kenneth, Kenneth is like, that's a tough one, but I'm going for Porsche too. Dang, dude. Wow. Kelsey Wade says uh, it's I, Porsche, Porsche if you're feminine. <laughs> well, I guess call me feminine Kenneth, for saying it right. Kenneth says he's going with Porsche too, but Porsche for short. So. Porsche, Porsche is short. Like, that's for short, but it is, it is pronounced Porsche. Uh, My girlfriend Porsche. chimed in and said just Porsche, no uh. She also must be poor and unable to afford her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your girlfriend's financial situation. I feel like you're the... Uh... <laughs> Tim says prank called the dealership. <laughs> We're totally calling Porsche of Orlando and seeing how they answer the phone tomorrow. So, this was kind of fun just to see what people said, but I'm curious to know whether or not there are other sayings out there in the automotive industry that people have wondered how to say correctly. Your girlfriend's gonna cut you. That's okay though, because I'm pretty sure that's how my girlfriend would respond if I put her on blast like that. Yeah, no, but mine will. She will cut me. Yeah, they all will. They're all scary. Yeah, so if you guys can think of anything else like that where it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> it's got two pronunciations, let us know and we'll, we'll debate it here um, and we'll figure it out. What else do we have to talk about? Um, the rest of the stuff I thought was cool at PRI. Yes, Apparently, back to PRI. Uh, Kelsey has seen your memes, so you can't be offended. I post stuff on Facebook. <laughs> it does get quite vulgar. Don't follow my Facebook if you're a snowflake. All right, come back to my PRI stuff. Okay, someone asked about, is it Sir Vinny 
or Cervini. If, oh. I've never heard any... Okay, to be fair, the spelling would would dictate that, but I've never heard anybody call it Cervini. I've only heard Cervinis. I call, it, I call it Cervini. I oh. call it Cervini. We might have to fight, Carrie. I've called it Cervini. And I. Cervini. I call it Cervini. I've heard Mike call it Cervini. I've, I've never... heard Justin call it Cervini. Am I out on this one? I Dang. think you might be out. Chris, what have you heard? You've okay. heard Cervini's, because I've never heard, heard Cervini's. Cervini's. None of it will fit on my car, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> he says none of it will fit on his golf, so it doesn't matter. Hey, we got the plug with those guys, man. If you want to make something happen, we can make something happen. We can get you a big old spoiler. Vinny, everybody's saying Sir Vinny. Sir Vinny, Sir Vinny. Okay. Uh, all right, Tim says, I don't know how to say it differently. I've always thought it was Saab. Just Saab, like S-A-U-B. He's saying Saab or Saab? I thought it was just Saab. Josh Hubble, all you did was type it with like the being retarded <laughs> font. When there's memes of like the uppercase, lowercase, you didn't tell Sponge us which Bob way. Memes. That's SpongeBob meme. I don't know what the hell you mean. Is it uh, is it LS or dumpster? <laughs> dumpster. It clearly, it's it it's, is not either. It is anchor. We I where I come it. from, we call it basura. What's that mean? Trash. Where do you come from? Wherever. Where do you want me to come Wherever. from? What about Volvo? What? I don't Volvo? know. What, what else would you call Volvo? You said uh, Volvo. Is it nobody, Volvo? Nobody said Volvo. No one said Volvo. Are you Where hearing you this? Hear this? Is a ghost back? That's what I thought I heard you say. Yeah. Brembo or Bimbo? That's, like, now we're just getting stupid. It's all right. All right. Let's move on to back right, to PRI on. stuff here. All right. Back to PRI. What's the next thing? Oh, the twin turbo lightning. Ugh. That thing was How so baller. that? I would love it. Is that a first gen lightning? I yes. can't see from here. Yes. I it love first gen lightnings. I want to find one. I want to first... buy one. <laughs> Your girlfriend's this white boy spanner. Ah, she's putting you back on blast because you called her poor. I know. Um, yeah, first gen lightning twin turbo had a like all solid front grill. It was straight drag truck. No but radiator. What motor no was in it? Was it a three fifty one still? Hood was closed. Dang, I would love to know. Don't know, but it, it, it was caged. It was back halved. Uh, it was it was baller looking. It was right across from the oh. Stifler's booth because I saw it like. Dang, I don't know how I missed that. The, I was gonna say the camera can see you. If we can see it on here, that just means the lag has displayed it on yeah. here. They're watching you. Um, yeah, no, it was baller. It was right across from the Stifler's booth, so I got to walk past it like uh, three times. Where was Stifler's booth compared to us? Um, behind the Ford booth. If you were looking, oh, okay, like yeah, we yeah. looked at the Ford booth off to the right. Yeah. Dang, um, dude, I walked by that one, too, and I didn't catch that. Dang, that's Which, sucks. I guess we'll post pictures next week. Um, as all of you know that watch the show religiously, which is not many, but... <laughs> for um, those of you who do. For those of you who do, I bent my drive shaft. I bent my drive shaft because of nasty burnouts at wheel hop. So, luckily, uh, PST hooked me up. I called them. They were not happy about um, lots of horsepower and lots of lift kit and pinion angle and big tires, but they made me a drive shaft that could still handle all of that and a lot of mile an hour. So I've got the PST drive shaft in the truck, fit like a glove. So far, all good. However, I'm still terrified I'm gonna hurt this drive shaft. So when I was at PRI, I went over to the Stifler's booth. I was like, yo, I got nasty wheel hop. What can you do for me? And picked up a set of long bars for my truck. Nice. So I will get those on sometimes before next Thursday because like I said, I really am terrified and I'll beat on the truck, even though I missed it. I haven't drove my truck in like a week and a half and it's like, it's a lot faster. I've gotten used to it over time. It's so like, now it's like a breath of fresh air driving it again. But I need, I need long bars before I can go out there really beating on it at first because I'm terrified of wheel hop and hurting this drive shaft. What now. color are the long bars? Black. Are you going to powder coat them to match the truck? Uh, or? Oh, shouldn't I? I feel like... It, I wanted to powder coat them It's tricky white. because you get... You get right up on ricer really quick when you start powder coating to match the body feel like, paint. Okay, so I feel like the biggest difference between like a ricer and me is money. Like that's the only difference between my truck and like Here's the a deal. kid with his 98 Civic. I can see you hopping out of an EK hatch. I can see you st like roll an EK rolling hatch. out and standing up all seven foot of you and just popping the hood and just kind of leaning on it. I had an EK hatch. See, that's I had what I'm saying. I had a CRX. I wanted to put rock lights on the truck, Whatever. and I, I went out to my Jeep that's parked out back. Chris, jump on his Facebook and find him sitting in an EK hatch. Like, no, it's not on Facebook. All balled not off and Facebook. everything. Not on Facebook. We'll find it. There's no okay. Honda pictures on my Facebook. We'll find one. This was before I had Facebook. 
Did not have any Honda pictures before. That's I, what I'm saying. I feel like there's a true ricer inside when here. I When I started Facebook, I so. Okay. Oh no, please don't. <laughs> we'll God. put our Photoshop guy on it. <laughs> oh man. All right. JP said his neighbor selling his first gen lightning. Yeah, but you live up north. It's all rusty up yeah, there. Yeah, no me gusta. Kelsey said he's seen that truck in Ennis, whatever that is. It's Ryan Martin, the Camaro driver in the 405. Oh, okay, Fireball Camaro's truck. That's cool. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh yeah, actually, I, I believe, actually, I saw that. I was watching one of the episodes of that thing. Um, Street Outlaws, and yeah. uh, I do remember seeing a first end a red first end lightning sitting in the corner. So, huh? I stopped watching it when I went to like pro mods and crap. Yeah, no, but uh, I like the show. But I like Ryan. I've reached out to Ryan. We're trying to get Ryan to sell our VMP stuff. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, he's been blowing me off though. He emailed me back one time, I think, <laughs> and uh, has has not hit me back since. So I'm trying to work on getting him. Um, I met with Chuck at uh, PRI. That's cool. See if we can get Chuck to carry some of our stuff too. So that would be cool if we can get some of the, some you have of the to street meet with Chuck. guys. That's kind of cool. I took a picture with Monza because my girlfriend has a giant crush on Monza. But he's I like caught the, him He's he... like the biggest hillbilly trash out of the group. Yeah, but she like loves him, his Daddy hair. Dave, and Chuck are like the, yeah, we just go out there and we run a number and we, we put together a race car and worked all week. Like Monza's, a, Monza's the real hick out of the group. She loves his ponytail. And she wishes that I would grow my hair out like that. And I told her no, obviously. But he was really grumpy because I got him as he was walking in his door. I hadn't even opened his coffee yet. So he was a little upset with me. But I took a picture, sent it to my girlfriend, and got some brownie points. Okay, it was worth it. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you're going to see your girlfriend almost every day. Mm -hmm. You're only going to see Monza for that one beneficial picture. Like, screw him, get the yep. picture. All right. Um... JP says, Donnie, I'm in North Carolina. We don't have rusty crap. Truck only has 30K. Yeah, you do. There, there's snow up there. It's rusty crap. Sorry, JP. I hope your feelings aren't hurt. But Also, I don't want to know how much you're asking for a first-gen Lightning that 30K. only has 30,000 miles on yeah, it. Exactly. I'm not interested. Especially, like, that's the perfect mileage for its low miles it's been taken care of, but it's been driven enough every year for it not to go to shit. Mm -hmm. um, Captain Jack's Wax says, how about them cowboys? Um... I don't know why we're talking about that on this show, but since you guys have had such a horrible losing streak for like 15 years straight, I'll let you say that on here. Yay, Cowboys. I'm, I like the Steelers, but, you know, we only have a successful season every year. What, what's I just wait that? for football to be over, so race season's here. Race season's here now. Have you been outside? It is boost weather. It's boost weather, but that doesn't mean it's race season. Um, your girlfriend's commenting on Monza. Um, what's hashtag snowflakes? Uh, I, I think she's calling us snowflakes. She's no, calling us snowflakes? because you were talking earlier about she snowflakes. Was. Yeah. yeah. And you're sitting there saying, yeah, if you're a snowflake, don't be on my timeline. And she thought it was funny. She was laughing about it earlier. Oh, it is funny. Snowflakes. I definitely don't want a second gen lightning for what it's worth. And I definitely don't want it if it's only got 50,000 miles on it. But it is cool that he got a plate and put one of the GD500 blowers on it, because that's pretty cool. Are we about to have an argument about football? That's what's about to start. Hold on, let me read JP's comment. JP, he has that in a Gen 2 Lightning with only 50K along with his 13 GT500 with only 600 miles. Now, that's a crime. 600 miles, no. But... No, 600 miles on the blower. No, no, no. That's 13 GT500 with only 600 miles. It's only got oh. 600 miles on the car. No. That's a crime. Okay, yeah. And Kristen... You better stop talking about these damn Patriots. Otherwise, I'm going to get a flat tire the next time I jump in my truck. Tom Brady's going to be over there letting the air out of the tires or some shit. Cheat it up. Kristen, I'm with you. Go Patriots. So yeah, no, no, no. See, I like teams that give me enough rings for both of my hands. Oh, shucks. How many rings do you own? <laughs> How yeah. many rings does anyone own that likes the Patriots? Not a good argument. I disagree. You're probably a Red Sox hater, too. Uh, I'm not a Red Sox hater. I'm just not a Red Sox fan. I like the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. From San so, Luis. So, um, Cardinals, I wonder how many World Series they've won. More than the Red Sox. Only second to the Yankees, Less I believe. Less than the Yankees. Less than the Yankees. Yeah, they're only second to the Yankees. They, they got the Red Sox beat. Hey, man. So, yeah, within the last, what, 10 years? Less is less. Baseball's been going on for 100 years. Mm -hmm. Go on. What else do you got? What kind of questions do you got over there? Over here. So, Dan says, uh, Don't I'm be a Camaro owner like, whoa, 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 we are better than you these years to these years. Don't, don't worry about 2004, though. It doesn't matter if it happened in 1904. I mean, let's look recent. 
1903, go ahead. <laughs> Look, Let's Kristen's go. getting on your girl's good side. She's gonna win this fight. She's already, I like Kristen. My girl's gonna I've win. I fought with my girlfriend. I know how much that, uh, it doesn't matter how much you're on her good side, you're not gonna win. All right, so anyway, Dan says, I'm really liking the new Mustang GT, but worried about pulling the trigger since multiple people report an engine tick. What are your thoughts about the so-called typewriter tick? <sighs> Ford is working on it. I would wait it out, honestly. It's kind of like when the 2011 and 2012 Coyotes came out. Um, they made a big revision in 1314. Um, you got a much better car in 1314. I would kind of wait it out. The 2018 and the 20 is a totally different motor. You got more compression, more cubic inches, 16 injectors versus eight. There's a lot of other things that went into it. It's brand new platform. Um, just wait it out, uh, probably by 2020. I anticipate the end of this year, the 2020s will be out and they'll probably be perfect. So I would just wait it out. I kind of disagree. Okay. I think the 18 plus is uglier in the front end. Mm -hmm. I like the 15 to 17. We know what the 15 to 17 is. Agreed. There's no crazy known problems other than if you beat the shit out of them <laughs> oil pump gears, I say go get yourself a nice 15 to 17, put rods and pistons in it, make a thousand all day. Mm. Yes and no. You'll probably spend less money doing that n now, but five years from now when the 2018s have been out for a little bit, I feel like the 2018 to 2019 is going to be the way to go, and you're talking apples to apples at that point. Uh, you guess. got more compression, you got direct port injection, um, there are a lot of perks that come with the 18. I get it, I like the 15 to 17, I think they look better. I think they look better. Yeah, but I mean you can't ride, it. not everything can ride on your looks. Not, you know. I'm uh, laughing at the Facebook comments. <laughs> the free blowers that we're going to be refunding from the Black Friday, we're being asked how many people are on the list. We have not tallied that number just yet. Yeah, we'll have to get a... And we will be doing that um, on Tuning Tuesday right after the first of the year. January 1st, I believe, is Tuesday, so it'll probably be that January 1st. So make sure you tune in, follow us on Facebook, we're, we're Instagram, YouTube. January 1st. It's January 3rd. I, no. Oh, you're right. January 1st is a Tuesday, and I believe right. that's what me and Justin discussed as far as trying to knock that out. Aren't we closed on the 1st? Uh, I don't know. We could come in for a special Tuning Tuesday. I'm not here on the 1st. I'm hungover. I don't, <laughs> I'm not on Tuning Tuesday, so I don't stay really care. Um, we will make sure that you know. Um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll, we'll figure out, we'll work out this and we'll minor details. Know ahead of January time. 8th, Max says. I don't know what he's saying that to, but. So, Topper wants to know what, what are your thoughts on trying to jam 3,000 horsepower pro mods on a slippery noodle of no prep? Seems like trying to use grip as an equalizer. Um, Sounds like a good time and I want to have my camera out. Yeah, I, I like no prep stuff, like true no prep, not like you're not only allowed to do... street outlaws no prep. Yeah, exactly. Street outlaws no prep. We're not prepping, but you can do this big of a burnout and yeah. why does the road look sticky? Yeah, yeah, we're doing it January 8th. Okay. We're doing yeah, it January 8th, 8th then. I um, thought that we were doing it on the 8th, but with you talking, saying that you talked to Justin. We did talk to Justin, but, you know... There's a lot of stuff going on in that guy's head, so it probably slipped his mind that we won't be here on the first. Matthew yeah, Gordon. No prep. Good stuff. You tagged me and said, when's your sponsorship getting accepted? Bro, I don't know what sponsorship you're talking about. I'm not sponsored. And I'm, I'm a tech. I don't control that. Better off asking Joey. <laughs> yeah, send in your application. I'll get right on it. I will, uh, I will look at your proposal and we'll see if we can do business because at the end of the day a sponsorship is just a business proposal it's no nobody gets anything for free you still owe us something whether it's work money advertisement there's nothing's for free that's right um we're being asked he's asked actually a few times did you guys run into alex at pri Alex was there, but I'm not sure that we... I really didn't run into Alex. Did you run into Alex? Uh, I didn't see him. I talked to him at uh, Mod Nationals. Yep. Chatted with him for a minute. Mm -hmm. but. Um, he was there, though. Uh, MFP Australia um, kind of did their big unveiling of their crank support yep. for our cars, and they did a really big, a really cool um, crank support for, for Alex. Um, for those of you who don't know, which I can't imagine is any of you, but <laughs> better known as... Yolo douchebag. He he uh, he, uh, he got a pretty sweet black and blue one to match his car. 
and uh, it had his letters and name engraved in it and whatever, so it was pretty cool. Black yeah. and blue to match his white one, his white He car? had a blue car at one point, didn't he? No? He had no. the red car He's and then a, a white one. He's got a red car and a white one now. Huh, I wonder what the blue is about. I don't know, but you can talk about it. The blue is, I think that's Lund Jr.'s car. Ah, yes. He's, he's still, the got, he's still got the red car. and Is he driving Lund Jr.'s white car? 18. I have no idea. Don't um, think so. Mr. Applesauce says, um, my 18 GT has been at the dealer for six weeks because of the engine tick. Mm -hmm. And Peter LaFloret says, hey, Joey. Peter LaFleur. You don't know who that is, no, do you? No, Peter LaFloret. LaFloret. But who's Peter LaFleur? Says, hey, That's Jonathan Whitaker. Hey, he just started his YouTube channel today, so you guys should go and follow him. Hey, Joey. Hey, says, John. Give me my fire wire so I can hook up this wide band, Joey. It's in my car. You can come pick it up tonight if you want to meet me somewhere. I thought you right. you're going out tonight. Yeah, you can meet me at... Cowboys yeah, in Orlando. No, 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 no. I was not going to say that. I was going to say you can message me and find out where I'm going to be tonight. Too late. It's out. Yeah, now it's out. Yep. Cat's out of the bag. Don't worry. I've told people where I'm going to be. Nobody shows up. No, oh, that's good. Max, can we supercharge your 2009 Accord? Listen, with money, billet machinery, anything is possible. I saw, I, I saw a picture, a video rather, of a Roush M90 on a K20 uh, Accord. Max has got a K24. On a K20 Accord, and it sounded badass. Now, granted, it is what it is. It's a four-banger with a Roush blower. Out of badass. But I feel like you're throwing that it word out a little It sounded lightly. badass. I wish I had the video that I could sh send over to uh, to Chris. But, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so, I mean, with money, anything's possible. Like, if you can throw enough money at the project, we can make it happen. I mean, you want to put a Gen 3, like a 2.65 liter on, I don't know, what is a K20 displacement? A 2 -0. Yeah, you want to put a 2.65 blower on a 2 motor? We can make it happen. Yeah, Honda's easy. A D16 is a 1.6 liter. A B16... I don't know anything about Hondas. A B16 Nothing. is a 1.6. A K20 is a, a I a just found out that K20 and K24 are like your optimal like motors. So And I hear he, B16 is like trash. No, what? No, no. okay, so hold on. The B16 okay. was the, the OG dual overhead cam badass Honda. So motor. is that like your four valve? You're like like the four six four valve Cobra yeah. ninety six to ninety eight Cobra four six. That's, though, that's not those are B headed. Those are B headed. Yeah, yeah, that's B headed okay. four six. Like okay. they made one hundred and sixty five at the flywheel. It was in cars that weighed like two thousand pounds. Okay, they ripped. They screamed. Okay, cool. So yeah, like I learned something new every day. Um, then okay. then came along the K twenty, which was a two liter that made two hundred horsepower, four cylinder, two liters. I mean, that was crazy. You're thinking four cylinder, each cylinder is making 50 horsepower. Yeah. Like, yeah. think of if a Coyote that's did good that. That's stuff, yeah. A V8 doing that, a lot more horsepower. Yeah, that's 400 in case you were doing oh, the math, anybody over there. Uh, back of back in the day when the K20 came out, I'm saying, though. Yeah, that, yeah. that was back when the three valve was making 325. Yeah. You know, the efficiency wasn't there. Then we got the K24, and then there's the H22 in there. K24 was the S2K motor? No, K24 is like in what's Max's car. It's also okay. what was in the Civic SIs and some of the CRVs. This what was, was a 2.4? Uh, S2K. Was that the K20? S2000 had it. No, that's okay. I don't even I don't even know what that is. Um, I can't remember. I worked at Honda. I don't remember. Listen, so, everything on Honda. We all make the, bad decisions. I loved working at Honda. That was great. Every car is the exact same. Civics, CRVs, um, all the exact same car. The smaller cars, the Fits, the CRZs, exact same car. The Pilot, the Odyssey, the Ridgeline, all the exact same truck. Like, literally, the bolts, everything, to do everything. The S2000, everything was totally fucking different, different from every other Honda. It okay. was awful. We hated working on those cars. Nobody wanted them, and I didn't fit in them. There's actually a picture on my Instagram of my knees being up in the dashboard. I believe that. <laughs> okay, um, so Blackstang is asking about the free blower January 8th on Tuning Tuesday. So tune in to Tuning Tuesday on January 8th, and you'll find out as we draw live the winners of the blower. One thirty tuning Tuesday on uh -huh. January eighth. One thirty. There you go. January. 8th. Make sure you tune in. Uh, Mr. Applesauce, Mr. Applesauce uh, says I ordered an E eighty five tune from us for his broken car. Do you recommend to data log it and send it in to you? Well, it's broken. It's but, broken, yeah. right? If you can what's, get that what's bad broken, what's broken on it? To... Yeah, I would love to hear what's broken on a e naturally aspirated E eighty five car. Um, I don't think he was the naturally aspirated guy. Okay. 
Well, he, I would still love he, to hear he, he what's wasn't, wrong with He it. wasn't the guy asking, what do I do? We go E85 and NA. Oh, okay. We'll find else. out in a minute. Um, Big Dog says, why does the 18 F-150 5.0s have less power than the 18 Mustang 5.0s with the same transmission? Um, it's always been that way. The F-150s typically get a little bit lower compression, a little bit crappier cams, make a little bit more torque, but less horsepower, mm -hmm. uh, and different intake manifolds. I yep. believe the 18 truck and Mustang are same compression. Okay, 18 truck and Mustang are same compression, but still have different cams, different, different cams, intake different intake, and this, so they make oh. power and torque in different RPM ranges. Applesauce has the 18 with the engine tick. Oh yeah, well if it's that would, that would explain why it's broken. Yeah. Uh, do not advise. Do not advise to data log it and send the information in. Oh, well, I guess what's broken? The engine tick is not broken. It's just kind of what Ford is taking is okay at this point. They're kind of taking a beating. Um, hold on. Hey guys, I own a 16 GT looking to install a VMP Gen 2 blower. What are your thoughts on the MT82? Is there any value in keeping it or go T56 Magnum XL? What's the power threshold on the MT82 that y'all have seen? Um, the MT-82, power is not quite the issue as it is driver. Um, if, if you're driving it very nicely, you engage clutch, shift it pleasantly into gear, let the clutch back out, get back into the power, it'll hold it. If you're banging gears and trying to run a number, you're going to destroy every synchronizer in it within a matter of minutes, naturally aspirated. Um, that's just the way they are. Calimer has a fix for that. Um, on our website, you can go um, use the search function and type in Calimer. C-A-L-I-M-E-R. Um, ben Calmer is building stage one transmissions for us. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's exclusively for us. So if you want to buy one, you got to come here. Um, we were at like a 55 day wait because everything is built custom for you. Yep. Um, but right now he's pretty much caught up and we're, we're about at a 25 day turnaround. Um, he has a lot of fixes for it. It's not one of those transmissions where you buy it and oh, it holds up to 750 horsepower. It is a built to stock or slightly better level. And then he also has a few tricks of the trade that he's putting in there. Um, and it's, it's holding stock power very, very well. Clean shifts, not locking you out of shifts like the MT, stock MT82s are known for. Um, he's, he's figured out a lot of stuff on it. As far as the going back to the question, MT82 versus T56 Magnum. T56 all day. It's a, not, a lot nicer transmission. Um, it does cost money. It costs a lot of money for the swap. But you can beat the shit out of it all day at the track, and it doesn't care. It'll get you home. If you get a good MT82 and a good clutch, there are fixes for it. It'll wind up being cheaper in the long run than getting the XL, the Magnum XL. But the Magnum XLs, you can buy them, one and done. Don't have to worry about it. But you got to get a different clutch, different drive shaft different shifter, so there are a lot of uh, auxiliary pieces that you do have to source if you decide to make the swap. For sure. But um, I still say T56. It's a good transmission, for sure, so I can't tell you you're wrong. Uh, DMX Mike, uh, if you were to win the free blower, we will email you, so. Correct, you'll get an email on, or a phone sure call from contact you. That's right. we'll me contact or somebody you. else in sales and support. You will get a phone call. Um, Mr. Applesauce says, he means, should I data log it when I get it back from Ford? <laughs> yes, please. If, if you haven't sent us a data log after a tune, um, if the car's running good, you don't have to send us a data log, but we always recommend sending us a data log. It never hurts to have us give it a, give it a quick look over. And if there's nothing wrong with it, you'll send us a data log. Everything looks good. Joe, Michelle, Mike, they'll tell you, hey, the car looks good. Don't worry about it. Go drive it. Go beat it up. If there's, an, if there's something that needs to be fixed, they'll say, hey, don't go watt in it. Load this in there. Send me another data log, and we'll get it told. It's, it's spot on. But. So I have a couple more things here on YouTube. Let's see okay. if we can try to hit it up. We yeah, are quick. 702. at 702, so we will be wrapping this up shortly. Um, Rupier says, isn't the Magnum XL more of a TR6060 than a T56? Mm, yes and no. Housing. Um, I wouldn't get too wrapped up in that. That seems like a frivolous argument, but just kind of going back to what we said, there's pros and cons to the, to the uh, T56 Magnum, and there's pros and cons to upgrading and 
building on your MT82. Marcus says, Joe, are you a tuner? And if so, what gains will I see going from Gen 1 TBS to Gen 3 on an 07 GT500? I am not a tuner. This is like my number one pet peeve. All the time I go, hey, thank you for calling VMP. This is Joey. How can I help you? Are you Joe the tuner? No, I'm not. Can I speak to Joe the tuner? And then it's like, oh, sad face. No one ever wants to talk to Joey the phone guy. They only want to speak to Joe the tuner. Um, no, I'm not a tuner, um, so I really shouldn't speak on how much more it's going to pick up, but I can tell you it's probably going to pick up somewhere between like 40 and 65, maybe 75 horsepower um, over a Gen 1, he said. Gen 1. Yeah, Gen 1 to a Gen 3, you're probably looking to pick up close to close to 60 or 70 horsepower. Yep. With um, same boost for boost, no mods, no none of that stuff, just boost for boost. And then obviously if you pick up boost, you're going to continue to increase that horsepower gains. Godfather says, thanks for the info. Love the channel, guys. Keep it up. Uh, Ryan, 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 I'm not sure. Another uh, thing we're going to argue on how to pronounce. It's R-Y-A-N-N-E. Ryan. That looks like a Ryan. That's and I'm sorry if it's Ryan. I do apologize. Exactly. But so I was saying Ryan, but just cover my We should my speak with your mother I'm about looking into different return. I'm looking into different fuel return systems for my 07 GT500. Uh, same for innovation system, but why one have no controller, J Pracing, JP Racing versus BMP for innovation has a controller. I'm not super familiar with JP Racing's um, return JPCs. self. Yeah, yeah JP, I, JPCs. I, um, I know four uses a controller, um, and it kind of taps. If I'm not mistaken, it taps back into the. Uh, I'm, I'm putting one in now, so ask away. You can you can you can wire it in to run and be triggered by the original FPDM. Yep. Yeah, so like it's a lot more plug and play on the. Whereas a lot of other companies give you like a hop switch and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Whereas it, it runs one pump constantly to run the car and then it, it triggers the other pump at certain pressure levels and whatnot and certain RPM. Whereas the four system I'm putting in now that has just all three pumps on, they're still triggered by the stock FPDM. Mm -hmm. um, which I, like I said, we, there's a reason we sell the four kit on our site with the controller. It's a very clean install. I'm literally doing one now, as you may have seen on our Instagram story earlier today. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm sure there's a little bit of a price difference, and that's probably why you're comparing. But I, I think with the four controller, it makes things very nice and clean. Yeah, and sorry, I, I don't know much about the JPC Racing return fuel system, so I can't I can't speak. Yeah, on that. I don't I don't know what their kit is either, but I know without that controller, wiring would probably be much more of a nightmare. <laughs> uh, Mad Max says, "Do you have a used GT500 quad tip exhaust for sale?" I, I do. do not have a used one. However, I do have one in stock. We can maybe make a little bit of a deal on call sales and support. If whoever you're talking to in sales and support doesn't know what the hell you're talking about, have them ask me. Um, we're here tomorrow. Phones are on 9 to 5. 8.30 uh, to 5. 8.30 8 30 to 5.30. 30. Okay. So Justin is extending our hours. 8.30 to 5.30. 8.30 5 to 5.30. I will be here during all of those times. So... Make sure you call tomorrow, 8.30 to 5.30. Like I said, if somebody you ask about those mufflers that I'm mentioning doesn't know what you're talking about, tell them to put you on hold and have them come grab me, and I will inform them because I do have a set that we are trying to move. Thanks, Ryan, for setting me straight on how to pronounce your name. It's Ryan. Um, and then lastly, uh, do you need a laptop to data log? I have an SCT BDX. Yes. You do not. They have oh. a small hard drive in them, the BDXs. BDX, yeah. Um, I believe the X4s do as well, but I, don't quote me on that one. But yes, the BDX you do not, but you can only hold one data log per um, recording session. You yeah. record once, you stop recording, that's it. That's all go, it saves in there. Yep, you go home, you plug it in, send it to Joe. But Michelle you still need a Mike. laptop to send it in. You don't need a laptop. You, know, you can you can use a a, a computer, a right. computer, um, a desktop. But yes, you can only do one at one at a time. But yes, you do not need one. Um, and the BDX also does. Uh, SCT just came out with an update, so they're actually doing the cloud tuning right now. So you can send back and forth if you're hooked up to Wi-Fi, the BDX. You can send it back and forth to Joe, Michelle, or Michael um, via cloud. So you don't even like if you run Mac and you can't run the SCT software, you can send it back and forth. Ryan to says with his SCT X4, he's been working with Mike, and he said no, he has to use a laptop on the uh, X4. Call SCT and have him do a manual. Um, update because they released something about two weeks ago, I believe it was, and you should be good to go sending stuff back and forth um, via cloud. 
All right. I'm done on 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 YouTube. Um, Phil McCracken, real quick. Coop or coupe? I say coop, but if you're in the other parts of the world, they say coupe. Do they really? Where? Okay. Jeremy Clarkson says coupe Ooh, all the time. Yeah, he does. The Brits do. Yeah, but. They pronounce a lot of stuff wrong. Yeah, uh, there's. But I, I agree with Jeremy Clarkson on a lot of issues, so. Yeah. Um, I'm going coop there. I'm going coop. Eddie yeah. said, uh, good night. I think that's it. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, all of our different social media outlets. If you want to see me and Joey arm wrestle tomorrow, it'll be on the Instagram story. Make sure you're following our Instagram. Make sure you're following Facebook and YouTube so you see next week's episode of Burnout Box, where I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but you want to be here. See you next week, guys.